Nmap, the Environmental Mapping and Analysis Program, is a German imaging spectroscopy satellite mission that aims at observing environmental changes in terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems around the globe. Nmap records the Earth's surface with a ground sampling distance of 30 meters by 30 meters and a daily spatial coverage of 30 kilometers by 5,000 kilometers. It measures in the visible to near infrared and shortwave infrared spectral ranges in more than 240 contiguous bands. Nmap's revisit time for any site on Earth is 27 days in Nadir view or every four days with its across track 30 degree pointing capability. On April 1, 2022, Nmap started its journey into space as the largest out of 40 payloads on a SpaceX Falcon 9 Transporter 4 rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Following stage separation, the first stage landed safely on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean 10 minutes after launch. By the way, it was already the seventh launch and landing of this Falcon 9 stage booster and we are happy that our environmental satellite could benefit from such reuse. Just five minutes later, Nmap separated from its launcher, and about one hour later, the first contact to the satellite was established. Within the first two weeks, during so-called launch early orbit phase, the satellite was successfully navigated into its final orbit. Less than a month after launch, on April 27th, the first light image was captured. It shows the greater Istanbul area with the Bosphorus, where the European and Asian continents meet. The image already demonstrates the high data quality to be expected over a range of different surfaces. Here, the mission manager, Sebastian Fischer, from the DLR Space Agency, shows the image in different band combinations, with a true color representation on the left and false color representations in the middle and right image using bands in the near and shortwave infrared to better differentiate vegetated, bare soil, and urban areas. Seven months after launch, the so-called commissioning phase was successfully completed and the mission entered routine operations at the end of October 2022. The Nmap data access portal was opened and users worldwide could start searching the ever-growing data archive and submitting requests for future observations over their areas of interest. As you can imagine, to successfully carry out such a large satellite mission, many experts from different fields need to work closely together in a well-coordinated way. In the case of Nmap, the mission is managed by the German Space Agency at the DLR in Bonn on behalf of the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. For the space segment, the DLR Space Agency contracted OHB System AG to develop and build the satellite and hyperspectral instrument. The ground segment is operated by the DLR, where three institutes and facilities are involved. The German Space Operations Center for Satellite Operations, the German Remote Sensing Data Center, and the DLR Remote Sensing Technology Institute for validating, processing, and archiving the received satellite data and for making them accessible to the user community. Finally, the scientific lead of the mission is with the German Research Center for Geosciences in Potsdam, responsible for the scientific program and supported by an international NMAP science advisory group. Actually, you might have met the science principal investigator in one of our videos in the HyperEDU Beyond the Visible course series before.